Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So before we go to our summary activity, uh, where we look at how we work with your bar scale, line scale, number scale, let's just quickly check to see if we all, you know, are happy with our approach to, you know, working with the number scale. Question one, you are given a map with the following, um, or with the number scale one is to 60. You measure a length on the map of 10 centimeters. What is the distance in real life? If you remember, I've mentioned to you guys that we just need to get into the habit of, if you know that you're a learner that struggles to focus on what you need to do, just highlight the important key, you know, um, uh, key, keywords right so in this case right you're given this number scale and then they're telling you that they're giving you the measured length on the map as 10 centimeters what are you supposed to calculate you want to determine the distance in real life okay so right there okay we want the distance in real life put a question mark put a question mark what are we given measured length on the map as 10 centimeters right and then we ready for action what are we supposed to do take that scale that is given to us one is to 60 what does that mean the one means on the map the 60 means in real life how are we supposed to use this you're just going to take that 10 centimeters that is basically given to us so you're going to take 10 centimeters multiplied by what it is that you want what do we want we want the distance in real life okay so you're going to multiply by 60 divided by obviously that other value one okay so this 10 centimeters multiplied by 60 is 600 centimeters okay so that is okay the distance in real life if you've measured a distance on the map um to be 10 centimeters easy as that Question number two, the distance on the map from Durban to Peter Marysburg is 2.5 centimeters, okay? Use the number scale of 1 is to 3,120,000 to calculate the actual distance in kilometers, right? You may use the formula. I've removed that formula because we need to think, okay? What is it that we need to do in this situation? Remember again, all that you need to do, write down, okay, the information that is given to you. We are given what a ratio scale. The ratio scale that is given to us is one is to three million hundred twenty thousand. Okay, what else are we given? We are given the distance on the map. Okay, so the distance on the map as two point five uh, centimeters. So that's the distance on the map from Durban to Peter Marysburg. So just write that down. Distance on the map what is it equal to 2.5 centimeters what are we asked to calculate we are asked to calculate the actual distance in kilometers very important so we want the actual distance in kilometers so what do we do now write down we're given that we've given the scale of one is to three million hundred and twenty thousand what does the one mean? It means the distance on the map. What does the three million mean? It's the distance in real life. What are we supposed to do? Just take the 2.5 centimeters multiplied by what do we want? We want the actual distance in kilometers, right? But let's take it step by step, okay? So let's first work with that the centimeters for now, okay? I'll show you two ways in which we can do this. So let's first start with this way. So firstly, we want to obviously determine the actual distance okay so from there if you want the actual distance multiply by what you want multiply by three million hundred and twenty thousand divide by obviously that other value one how much do you get if you take 2.5 multiplied by multiply by three million hundred and twenty thousand okay you get seven million eight hundred thousand centimeters okay and then remember right they didn't ask us you know to just um determine the actual distance in centimeters they asked us to determine the actual distance in kilometers so we don't stop there we need to we need to take this a step further right we need to convert those centimeters to kilometers how do we convert okay 
so we're just gonna take that seven million eight hundred thousand centimeters how do you move from centimeters to kilometers so we here we're gonna divide by a hundred divide by a thousand divide by a hundred divide by a thousand so that's the same as just doing what dividing by a hundred thousand it's the same thing so it's just dividing by a hundred thousand okay so if you divide by a hundred thousand what do you get you actually get that the real life distance okay is actually 78 kilometers okay nice and easy and we're done right so let's just look at the next uh, maybe another approach maybe some learners would want to rate, basically take that 2.5 let me just say or right so let's say now remember you just given the distance on the map okay so it's still the same thing let's say maybe you want to you know use this approach okay what is the distance on the map so we're given that the distance on the map is 2.5 centimeters and we're trying to determine the distance in real life given the scale one is to three million one hundred and twenty thousand right full stop so what is it that we need to do here right all that we need to do here right you can also just convert that 2.5 centimeters first to kilometers because they asked us to give the final answer in kilometers so we can start off by converting the 2.5 you know kilometer uh, centimeters into kilometers so you're going to take 2.5 centimeters how do you convert centimeters to kilometers it's still the same thing divided by 100 divided by a thousand so it's dividing by a hundred thousand okay what's the answer okay it's zero point so it's one two three four zeros one two three four zeros uh two five um kilometers so we've converted that to kilometers some people might even get an answer like 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative five this and that it's basically the same thing okay Oh, what that negative five basically means is that, okay, this answer is obviously given in scientific notation. So if you had to write it in decimal form, how would you write it? Moving from scientific notation, it would just be this negative five means that you need to have five zeros. Okay, so you're going to have one, two, three, four, five zeros. You want to put that five after the zeros and then all that you need to do you want to put a comma after the first zero so it's basically the same thing it's just that if your calculator gives you an answer like this this is just in scientific notation and if you choose to write it in decimal form you can write it like this it's the same thing you just need to remember that that negative five basically means that you need to have five zeros first okay then you're going to put the two five without the comma there then you're just going to put the comma after the first zero that's basically how you can write that in that form and not in scientific notation all right cool stuff so i just went off there on the ten on a tangent because i know that some learners probably got an answer like this please tell me if you did get an answer like this so that i can see i know some did get an answer like that and then all that we need to do now right okay remember we are trying to determine the real life distance so we're not done we just converted that 2.5 centimeters into kilometers so all that we need to do right so we're not done all that we need to do we just need to determine the distance in real life so how do we do that remember this one is the map this one is real all that we need to do then multiply that by what we want which is three one two zero one two three remember we want the real divided by what we have obviously that other value then what do we get as our answer still the same answer of 78 kilometers so okay whichever one that you want to obviously start off with if you want to start off by converting then using the scale you can do that but i would advise against that because some learners will forget some learners will just stop there at 0, 0.00 kilometers i promise so it's always just advisable to just start off with you know working with that those centimeters the way that they are you know multiply with the scale then do the final conversions because i promise you you will forget some learners do forget okay so i'm gonna stop it here for today's video tutorial i hope you enjoyed this you know mini you know uh, recap when it comes to working with the number scale right and then on the next video tutorial okay on the next video's tutorial we're going to be working with obviously we're going to be doing a summary activity okay where we just 
you know, work with the bar scale, ratio scale, line scale, right? So we're going to be answering all these questions together. So please make sure that you are ready for that tutorial because we're going to be going in depth, you know, with just working with your bar scales, line scale, ratio scale. I'm also going to be showing you how to convert the bar scale into a ratio scale. Um, so please make sure that you are engaged during these lessons, taking down screenshots, you're pausing the video tutorial, you're answering on your own, you're checking to see if you're getting the correct answers. Okay, so I'll see you guys on my next upload. That is it, guys, and I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys. Thank you.